Yo, what's good, everybody? What up, YouTube world? What up, gamers? It's your boy SBX coming to you once again with another video, uh, reaction video. So, the videos I'm gonna react on today is basically on Joe Budden's podcast about some chicks talking crap about men playing video games and bashing PS5, like I mentioned on my last video. So, yeah, I just want to know what the hell these bitches are talking about. Um, I heard that there's a lot of controversy on this video. So it's pretty much three weeks old, pretty much a month old. But usually, again, I don't really pay attention to it when it first dropped, the video first dropped or whatever. And a lot of people be so spazzed out unless I really caught into that attention. But, you know, I'm going to be open-minded to it. So I just want to see what's going on. So... Anyways guys, without any further ado y'all, let's go ahead and check this video. So, let's get it! I don't feel, I, I don't feel the warmth yet. The warmth? warmth. Or like the cold there's, air? There's a, no, it's like, it's figurative. Okay. There's a special warmth that comes around, I guess around Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Oh, no. I feel the warmth. I don't feel that warmth there's at all. And I got a cat. I ain't got no kids, so I'm like, ain't no gifts gonna go. I can tell you ain't got no kids. My cat's ass every time because he gonna play with the tree. So I ain't, I ain't doing no tree, no light. Isn't there something you could spray on your tree so Bodie doesn't just like fuck? Boring. Get warm. But participating in that kind of stuff and then watching people trample each other over a fucking PlayStation. And by the way, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh hell no! Here, here, here we go! Here we go! Bitches be bashing the fuck out of PS Five. Let's see how these bitter bitches are gonna pretty much talk that shit. Cross my mind, like yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all grown ass men running around <laughs> losing your minds over a PlayStation Five? <laughs> A place, a, a fucking, it's called a PlayStation. Y'all are not that serious about doing nothing else. Y'all haven't been that serious about nothing or committed to nothing else. I had a conversation with my Oh, uh, here we go again. The fucking, oh, men ain't shit. We don't take nothing seriously and all that. Like, come on, girl. Like, yes, the reason why we like PS5 and, like, let's be real. I agree. It's like, I don't want to waste my time waiting for a PS5 to drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga who ain't got no fucking money, I say, look, I'll wait until the price will go down or whatever the case may be. But, you know, you should be talking because you have niggas like you fucking anytime a new pair of joys come out, y'all be way causing ruckus and all this other dumb shit. Nobody's acting, nobody's causing ruckus over a PS5. You know what I'm saying? Nobody getting shot over no damn PS5. I mean, niggas will rob you if you had a PS5. If you fucking make yourself look obvious and showing it off in the streets somewhere. But let alone, if it was like a freaking, what you call, like, the newest pair of Jordans and you're rocking that shit, more than likely motherfuckers will fucking nap you for that shit. So, yo, ease up, yo. Like literally yesterday, and she's like, she, she, I'm not on Facebook, so she always gives me the Facebook updates, and she's like, oh, I, I just see uh, such and such, he get, he get the, uh, a play, a play five, what? A play five? What? A play five, I don't know what it, what it, I guess he, re, I read and all, he comments, because I'm like, what is a play five? And everybody's like, oh, will you get that? Oh, you the man? No. Oh. You such a great dad. Oh, like she's like going on till she could not grasp the concept of everybody going crazy over PS5. I PS5. can't grasp Wait, the have y'all have y'all dated men that were into video games ever? Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, but in my really? in my yeah. 20s, yeah. I'll be honest with you, not if I think of the top 10 best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre dicks. Well, I grew up as a gamer. So wow. See, I don't like this bitter bitch, you know what I'm saying? She had the nerves to say, oh, we're on some weirdo shit if we play PlayStation and your fucking fashion wardrobe is fucking weird. You look like you ran, like, what the what kind of fucking pants are those, yo? Yo, I can tell this bitch been hurt, yo. She got some weird ass pants on. 
Like you it look like you wearing rubber bands all over your fucking fucking legs and shit and whatnot, yo. I, this is why I hate watching these fucking female talk shows and podcasts. It's always got to be a better bitch trying to rain on shit that men do. This is why women should you need to stop watching this shit. Cause you know, at the end of the day, you know what I mean. Women cannot stand the fact that men are trying to have fun. They try to do a thing. Whatever. And what the fuck does dick have to do with a guy the size of his dick or the performance of a guy has anything to do with our dick and and pleasures, yo. Yo, she on some basic bitch shit, yo. Dead ass. There, the, a lot. I don't I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no. as a great man oh, spending time. Ooh! Hold up, wait a minute. Yo, guys, this is why you need to date a gamer chick, like I mentioned on my video. Because gamer chicks, there's many of them. They're on Twitch, they're on some anime convention, or sci fi convention, or the comic book store, or your co worker at work who work at a, as a barista at Starbucks or some shit. Yo, these bitches have no fucking idea about how fun video games are. Like, these are the same type of bitches who watch love and fucking hip-hop and gossip about dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and it seems to me that women don't even like the fact that men are trying to have fun and they ain't got nothing better to do but bitch and complain and drink wine and talk about how niggas ain't shit. Like, yo, this is so better, yo. Like, like <laughs> this this chick right here, she's so bitter. Like, ma, who hurts you? You're like me and you're into gaming. I'll never forget when Ava was born, the the new Grand Theft Auto drop with Nico Bellic, and like that was my escape, and that was our. Mom. Yo, out of all three of these chicks, man, the the dark skin one is always the dark skin one has more of a personality than the light skin bitches, yo. Like, I don't understand, though. Like, like, let's be real. Like, at least she knows what I'm talking about. Because, for real, I was hyped about the GTA when Nico Bella came out. That shit was, that, that shit was, that shit was lit, yo. GTA, GTA 4 was the shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you know? Um, like, these chicks are looking at her like, really, bitch? Grow the fuck up, yo. Act like a woman, yo. Act like you got a pussy, not a dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, she, she, like, out of all of these three, she has some common sense compared to these other two nymph rod bitches, yo. Like, this one, she's more like, eh, whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? The other chick with the funny looking pants, like, she, she's so negative, yo. Time we playing Grand wow. Theft Auto. Oh, you were shooting the prostitutes you, and then shooting the prostitutes. She was, she was getting all like the that. points. We was you know what I mean? She was hitting all the homeless people. She wait, wait, wait! You don't just shoot prostitutes and homeless people on GTA. It's um, it's a, it's called doing missions. It's like there's missions involved. It's an open world game. You do whatever you want in the game. You know what I'm saying? You don't just fucking just shoot people and get points. No, you just take their money, but. The real money and the real points and the real straight credibilities is just doing a mission, just like in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell these bitches, like, especially this one, like, she just mad at her life because no nigga want her. This chick is just fucking, let's just be real, she's just being naive as hell. And her, she knows exactly what the fuck she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, let alone... These bitches are just so miserable, like, well, except her, but these two are, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess that's what's called light, gr light girl, light skin bitches syndrome or something like that. Light skin nigga syndrome, but yeah, these bitches is petty. Broker, we was we was we was fucking shit up in Broker City, you know. No. Like, and you know, between feeding, she's taking a nap. I'm I'm on vice. Like, I'm I'm that's that's fire. my vice. That's yeah. Dope. No, I mean, I, how so, many hours would you spend on that though? Like, realistically, four to six. Wow, a whole work a day? shift. Yeah. 
All right. Wow. It's a lot of missions. I mean, this. Uh, I don't even like her, man. I don't know why they hired her on this show. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, she looked good. She thick, but her fashion sense is, is terrible. I mean, that's my thing. Do not listen to somebody who has horrible fashion taste. Nevertheless, and this one, she got a Michael Jackson nose. Not even just that. I'm, I'm going to speak directly to the failed athletes of America. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Most of y'all are complete trash at 2K and Madden. And y'all y'all are dying. Y'all are y'all are literally spending what should be saved in your account because we don't know next time we get a stimulus check. Y'all are spending <laughs> y'all hard-earned stimulus money on a place on a console, a game console, and y'all and y'all are trash. Y'all suck at sports in real life and at the video game. I'm so Damn. That's hurtful. Well, I don't play sports games, and I definitely don't play sports, so it doesn't really apply to me. So, the only games I fuck with is fighting games, a little bit of, uh, you know, some first-person shooter games, third-person shooter games. I'm just a natural old-school gamer from PS1, PS2, PS3, or whatever the case may be. If I had a PS5, I'd definitely rock with it, you know what I'm saying? But... Come on, man. Yo, these hoes, these hoes ain't shit. Like, she just looking like, damn, like, how can I look good with my co-workers? And out of all these two bitches, I got a better personality. I don't understand. Like, I just, you can't, I can't wrap my head around I had, and six, seven hundred dollars well, video game I had to. But you can spend your money on a fucking Louis Vuitton purse and fucking go on OnlyFans. I don't know about these chicks, but the right here, Lil Thicky. You know what I'm saying? She looked like she'd be on the fucking OnlyFans. But to be honest, though, women are just so egotistical, yo. Bitches like them. This is why I don't fucking fuck with females like that, yo. Because, I mean, not saying it. I'm not trying to be a misogynist or anything like that. But, you know, I can't stand basic bitches. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody is different or whatever. Like, every man and woman are different. You know, some women would like to play video games and some women don't. Same thing applies to men. You know what I'm saying? Like, these chicks are just so bitter because, again, they ain't got shit to do but talk shit. And watch reality TV shows or nothing. You can tell out of all these two chicks, they ain't got a fucking hobby. Blame her mother. It's it's a status thing. I had to explain to her, oh, okay. like, you know, it's literally like when the new Jordans drop and everybody is, like, trying to get it first. Exactly! First. Thank you! Like I mentioned... Like, don't contradict yourself. Don't be a fucking hypocrite, yo. Get your heads out of your fucking asses for a minute. Like, come on. Like, I don't apply to doing both these days. Wait in line to go get some Jordans and wait in line just to go get some get a PlayStation. Like, people have been doing this since the Stone Age. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. This is not fucking new. It's been like that with the Xbox. It's been like that with the PlayStation, older generations, and... And the Nintendo consoles as well, man. We're not having fun with you. We women, like, come on. We want to balance between what we into. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can watch like fucking 100 episodes of fucking Love and Hip Hop and buy some fucking $100 makeup on and buy the most expensive ass clothes on. And y'all only wear that shit one time. And after that, y'all want to look for some other nigga to, um, Go dig and, and, and use his money to buy some bullshit. So don't say no bullshit just because men want to buy their uh, PS5 that we're we're lame, we're boring, we're useless, and stupid shit like that. Because you buying some fucking materialistic bullshit just like we do. So shut the fuck up. It's somewhat of a similar thing with the PS5. They was talking on, on Twitter, talking about... You know, because a lot of men are asking their women for this game. It's like how we treat bags, apparently, they said. Like, damn, men can't want for nothing. But this is something that I guess a lot of men want. So they want their... Yeah, exactly. If a, if a bitch will say, hey, can you buy me a new purse? Can you get my nail done? Can you buy me my new weave? And all this other shit. Then we have, we, we feel, we have to feel like we're on sip mode to do that shit. But if a man want one particular thing, then, oh, you don't care about me. Oh, you don't want no relationship with me you're you're not a real man 
act like a grown man and, and, and all this other shit. And like I said before in my video, like, come on, man. I don't want no woman to buy me no PS5. Shit. If you can get a PS, a PlayStation or an Xbox by yourself, they do the same shit with the PS5, yo. Goes to show that, you know, even, even if, even if a woman has to feel obligated, half of these times, these bitches don't give niggas a, anything. Except, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That's what some women these days is good for, just fucking and nagging. That's it. Some bitches can't fucking cook, clean, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying these all of these three women can't, but, you know, the woman with them weird ass pants, she look out, all she does is just bitch and complain. Significant others to buy a Yeah. I literally so I guess it's the same I way saw we my, my friend in his IG stories <laughs> put his <laughs> PS5 in, in, in a seatbelt, like wrapped it in a seatbelt and said, right. taking, taking my child home. Yeah, problematic. <laughs> That's problematic. Y'all yes, gotta yes. do better. Y'all gotta do better. Hey, it's called a me. Like, come on. It's a fucking joke, yo. Like, have some common sense. Like, it's not fucking real. Have a sense of humor for a minute, you know? Like, I mean, my thing is this. Like, if I had a car and if I had a girl on Sasha, of course you're gonna be sitting in the front seat. You know what I mean? But I'll probably put the PS5 on the back of the seat. You know what I mean? Of course, I'll put a seatbelt on that motherfucker. Wrap that shit with a blanket. Put some extra security on that shit. That's what I would do. That way, the PlayStation 5 would be secure. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's already wrapped with like the little ceramic bubble wrap or some shit like that. I don't know, because it's been a while since I bought any new console. But the last time I had bought the PS4, the Pro, I think it had ceramic bubble wrap. But it's going to be good. And the phones... The styrofoam, it's gonna it's gonna be protected. You know what I mean? So, I get it that you know some guys are too overly protected on their console, but I would be too. But I just want to make sure that it is like if I have it in a car or something like that. If I took an Uber ride or something like that, it happened. I make sure it's in the bag. I've secured it, like it is my baby. You know what I'm saying? But. Again, y'all bitches will be tripping if it's some other bullshit, yo. Like, fuck out of here. It, it popped off like Sega 92, Genesis 94. was like ninety two, nine, you know, like ninety two. I feel like he was out when Game kids Boys, actually went like around. we had Game Boys. Game Boys were cool, you know what I'm saying? Before he they definitely had Nintendo. Nintendo. Like that's a given. I had Nintendo. Nintendo. Everybody had Nintendo. 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 Nintendo came out in eighty five, so yes, he had Nintendo. He definitely had Nintendo. I'm a gamer, y'all. He was no, he was he was playing Duck Hunt. He for sure was playing. Duck I love Duck Hunt. Hats off to this chick right here, yo. She's like the only person that I can fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Out of all these two chicks, yo, like she's amazing. She's amazing. Okay, I dog. guess I ain't gonna talk much shit then about y'all video gamers. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, you ain't got shit to say, bitch. This the craze around this, especially in the climate that that the economy's in, the way every it's like we don't. The people that really have it don't even really have it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this is what this is what we doing. Come on, man. Everybody got their vice. Everybody got their. I don't even think it's. I don't even think it's about. I don't even think it's about a vice. Do y'all do y'all think PlayStation didn't read the room? Is that what y'all saying? No, I don't. Why I don't would think they? It's, they, they? it's capitalism. Honestly, we, it's this, them this is reading the room and understanding that this is the perfect time because everybody is at home. Sorry, you a, good? <laughs> Not this net. Not it's the net. The wine. I almost got it. I almost got it. You almost got it. Oh, okay. I'm done. Fuck these bitches. I'm done. So the moral of the story is don't date a basic bitch because all they do is complain. They have nothing going on with their life. They only got no hobbies and whatnot. And I, I, I don't even want to watch this shit no more because I personally felt like, you know, I don't know why Joe Budden even hired these two chicks. Like, the dark-skinned chick, she can stay. At least she's more open-minded. The other two, they're not. You know what I mean? Like, of course, the PS5 is trying to be on the market because, you know, PS4 been around for almost, like, damn near a decade, you know? And it's time to switch up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still got my P4, and at the same time, I'm not even ready to switch yet my damn soap, you know? Like, even if we did have our stimulus check, shit, when I got mines, I spent it on my new computer. 
You know what I'm saying? But it didn't cost me a lot. But, you know, at the end of the day, at least I got some paper. So if I, we get another signals check, I mean, hell. Dude, if I if I feel like I can find like a PS5 that is in black and it has what I want in there, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to fucking buy it. You know, nevertheless. But if it's going to cost me my whole stimulus check, the whole 1200 fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, the moral of the story is, y'all, for all my gamers out there, stop fucking with these basic ass bitches. Enjoy what you do. If you're a gamer, be proud of it. And don't let no bitch stir you wrong for you for liking video games. It doesn't less make you less or more of a man. It just make you somebody who's a gamer. Women, apply to y'all too. If you're a gamer, stay a gamer. Be real to yourself. So, anyways y'all, I'm done. Please leave your comments in the comment sections below. I love to know everybody's opinion. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until then folks, SBX. Wrapping the shit up. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I see y'all on the crossroads.